is Roxy and today I have another back to school video since you guys seem to really be loving it and I like making it for you. So I'm going to share with you three easy DIYs that are perfect if you want to have your own personalized stationery as well as DIY blotting sheets which I need every single minute in life because I have super oily skin. No, really, it's bad. So I hope that you enjoy these DIYs and let's try to get it to 2,000 thumbs up. So go ahead and hit that like button right there. If you would like to see a lot more back to school videos, organization videos and DIYs and all that fun stuff. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter so you can see all my behind the scene pics and all that fun stuff. Also, I have Snapchat so be sure to follow me there. And one more thing, I swear, last thing. Don't forget that if you have an iOS device, you can download the Classy Girl app for free and you can watch all of my videos on it and I just think that, that is so amazing because you can just open the app and watch it and don't worry if you have Android phones or other phones it is coming to all platform platforms very very soon so I can't wait for that either and yeah before I continue just rambling let's get into the video now so first up we'll be making these quote pencils and I see a lot of pencils with the pretty gold prints on it but those can be kind of pricey so we're going to be making our own. So you're going to need pencils and it doesn't matter what color they are because we're going to paint it anyway. You're also going to need scotch tape and acrylic paints and the colors are all up to you. So I chose pastel because I love pastel colors. So you're going to take scotch tape and go ahead and tape off the point of the pencil as well as the eraser part because you don't want to get paint on those two pieces. So once you got the edges all taped off, it's time to paint now. I recommend using a paintbrush for this, not a foam brush because I don't feel as if it lets the paint go onto the pencil that well. So definitely use a paintbrush if you have. And you might need to use two to three coats depending on the color of your paint. So lighter colors like this pink one that I'm using might take two to three coats. So to let them dry, I put them onto a box and let it lean like this if that makes sense. You're seeing what I'm doing here, yo. <laughs> so a huge tip before writing on it is to use a sealant spray. And it's basically a clear spray paint to add onto it so it wouldn't chip the paint. So once your pencils have dried after you apply that sealant, take a gold marker and just write some really nice coats on it. So I have stuff like shake it off, do what matters, be kind, enjoy the little things. I mean it's really up to you. So once that is done you can take off the tape and you have your gorgeous set of quote pencils and I love the gold sharpie marker. It looks so nice. I really love how all of these colors turned out. This was my favorite DIY. Comment down below and let me know which was yours because I would love to know. Seriously though, they look like candy. Like I just want to eat them up. <laughs> Next up, we'll be making DIY blotting sheets as well as a little container to hold them in. So I'll be upcycling an empty Mentos container and then I'm going to be using glitter tape, washi tape and for the blotting sheets, believe it or not, you can use tissue paper that you actually use in gift bags. <laughs> so first I'm going to go ahead and stick my glitter tape onto my Mentos container like this. So I'm going to add a little piece of washi tape in the middle just to add some fun colors and play it up a bit. And don't forget to also add washi tape to the top of your tin and the bottom as well. You can cut off the extra piece for the cover but I just like tucking it in. And there you go, you have a really cute storage container for your blotting sheets, bobby pins, safety pins, any single thing like that you can store in this upcycle Mentos tin. So for the blotting sheets you are going to be using the tissue paper and I got this pretty chevron pattern one and all you're going to do is of course just cut it to fit inside your Mentos tin and tuck it in. Tissue paper is exactly the same thing as blotting sheets that you find in the drugstore for a couple bucks but you're making your own and you can make so much of these and the Mentos tin keeps it nice and cool. No. I love this because in school my skin tends to oil out so much and I always have to like grab tissues but I have my blotting sheets and now I can just go into my bag or with both my blotting sheets and just blot my face and you would not believe well actually you could believe how much oil gets removed with these tissue paper blotting sheets for so inexpensive and ew could we not stare at my gross oil blotting sheet <laughs> okay so we'll be making these cute notebooks and I did something really similar in my last video so I'll link that in on the screen you need a notebook a foam sponge sponge <laughs> some mod podge and glitter tape or washi tape 
You also need scrapbook paper so you just go ahead and choose what scrapbook paper you want and then trace the outline of your book. So be sure to flip the scrapbook paper so you can trace on that side instead of the good side. Then of course you're going to cut it out and apply Mod Podge to your notebook covers. Then just place the scrapbook paper on it and you have these really cute amazing notebooks and last year I did a DIY where I used gift wrap paper because that is also a really great option to cover your books and get really cute notebooks. So for the spine I'm gonna go ahead with my glitter tape again and apply to the spine cut off the excess and you have a fab new notebook. Guys, I love this because it matches with the rest of my stationery I made. So for the notebook label I really wanted to choose something that pops so I chose the back of this scrapbook paper and I just cut out a little bunting flag and stuck it onto my book so you can go ahead and write your subject on it and you have really cute notebooks so that was the end of this video i really hope you enjoyed it don't forget to thumbs it up and subscribe if you haven't already so you won't miss a thing i'll see you in my next video bye Are you ready? I